The measurement feature is really cool. You can get measurements by adding a measurement here, or you can get measurements down at the bottom of the screen by adding a measurement here. Here you can select which channel you're going to make a measurement from. You can select which type of measurement you want to make, such as frequency or a duty cycle. And you can choose the whole trace, or you can choose between rulers if you have rulers on the screen. As an example, I'm going to put an AC sine wave around the screen here. Now, if I come down and choose Add a Measurement, and I decide I would like to do a frequency of this, and I'm going to choose the whole trace. Now, if we look down at the bottom of the screen, and it is fluctuating, but if we look at our average, we have approximately 12.8 hertz. Now, if we come up to the coupling section, and we choose frequency, instead of getting a waveform, what you get is your frequency along the left-hand side, and you get something somewhere between 12 and 14 hertz. If I draw my ruler down and line that right up, you'll see that I get 12.75 hertz, which is real close to the reading we had down at the bottom of the screen. If I switch back over to DC coupling, and we wait for it to adjust, you'll see that we have 12.82 hertz as it settles down. Here, I'm going to use a square digital wave signal to demonstrate duty cycle measurement. You can see that the on time, or the positive voltage here, is much longer than the off time down here. We're going to add a measurement, and we're going to come over and select that we want a duty cycle, and we'll choose the entire trace. We can now see that it averages 87.54% of on time, which is across the top here. If I decide that I want to measure this between rulers, I have to stick a ruler. Now one duty cycle is going to be from this position, where it rises, to the same position after one full pattern. Now I can add another measurement, and it's going to be a duty cycle, but this time I'm going to measure between the rulers. Now this will give me a duty cycle down here in a second, but it'll come on and off as it's not going to be stable. Sometimes you have to measure more than one pattern. If I move the ruler over so I get at least two patterns, we'll now see that we get a stable average that is almost identical to the entire trace. If I adjust the duty cycle, and change it to the other aspect, the first thing I want you to notice is that the cursors stay lined up. And that is because we have the same frequency, which is 12.82 Hz. And as we see it stabilize out, we now see that it's going to settle somewhere around 17.23 to 17.25%. So it is 17% energized, and the rest of the time it's de-energized. Additionally, you can calculate the duty cycle yourself. I'm going to stop the record time so that I can actually get my markers or my rulers lined up perfectly. So this gives me a 13.5 millisecond time setting for my on time. I will need to know what an entire trace is and that is 77.61 for the entire duty cycle time. To calculate the duty cycle, we're going to take the on time and divide it by the entire time, and then we're going to multiply it times 100. 13.5 divided by 77.6 times 100 equals 17.396907 or rounded to 17.4%. If we look down here 
at our measurement by the meter, then we see we have 17.36%, which is almost dead on to our calculation.